hello hello so today we're going to talk about recovering from publishing a book now i want to put a trigger warning that we're going to talk about like anxiety and social anxiety in this video so if that's not something you want to hear about then feel free to skip this video so as i'm sure a lot of you know i published my book the flip side of sad at the end of march so that was a few weeks ago now and i did a lot that week a lot of socializing on like zoom and instagram i recorded a podcast for the first time i did a bunch of ig lives with a bunch of my street team members and i was just replying to a bunch of messages and comments and all these things and doing like these little guest posts and interviews and all these things right and i'm not someone that can do a lot of things like that in one small time and then continue doing it and that's where the anxiety comes in so basically, if I have not responded to your DM or your tweet or your comment, it's because I have been avoiding it. <laughs> That's social anxiety for you. <laughs> so I'm really curious if any other authors who have ever published a book feel this way after the book is released, after you do everything that goes into publishing a book and all of the like press and things like that. Do you need time to recover? Do you need time to just do nothing and be away from social media and away from everything and away from your book? Because that's what I needed. <laughs> and I have always been like this, okay, my entire life. Anytime I like had to work many days in a row in a week or go to a bunch of social events in the same week or anything, the next week I can't do anything. Like literally I just choose not to leave the house or talk to anyone. So that's what happened the week after I released the book and still a little bit now. Like I even wanted to do this video like a week ago and I put off doing this video and that's just part of it. Like literally, like I got so behind on DMs on Instagram and tweets and emails. Oh my goodness. I was so behind on some emails and I felt bad and I still am honestly. I still, there are still some DMs and emails I haven't responded to. So you probably know who you are. And I apologize. It's not really my fault. And it's not because I don't want to, obviously. Of course, I want to respond to my work emails or my DMs from all of you lovely people who I've been talking to on Instagram about the book and stuff. Of course, I want to respond to you all. I just, it gets, social media in itself gets overwhelming and then add like social anxiety on top of it. And I like social anxiety. I'm like that even on the internet. Like some people have social anxiety and they just don't want to socialize in real life with people. I'm like that with the internet too. Like I can't socialize too much at one time on the internet. I need to step away from it <laughs> eventually. So that's kind of what happened. Um, but I'm just really curious if any other authors go through this, especially authors with anxiety or just honestly I, i'm just a bit antisocial too so <laughs> that, that that doesn't help but and, and an introvert i think that you know plays a big part in it too and i think a lot of writers can be introverts so i'm really curious if any other writers who have published a book or had done done something major if you need like the next day or the next week or whatever to recover from that major thing or just in general i guess Cause like I said, I'm like that in regular life. If I do too much in a week, I choose not to do anything the next week because I can't really. Um, so yeah, that's basically, and of course I've still been posting on Instagram. I've still been uploading videos and stuff, but it's not like, I'm, I'm just not as good at responding to the comments and DMs and stuff. That's cause that's the social interaction there. Cause uploading a video, I'm not interacting with anyone. To upload a video or post a picture on Instagram but there's just something that even like just something about rep like responding to a comment or a few DMs I have like I don't know what it is I just I, I, I almost like ignore it even though I know it's there and I know I have to and I know I want to respond to these people because these are great people that I'm you know working with and talking to right now I just like I, I have like I just need that break and I think I'm getting over it like it's been a like a couple weeks now so I think I'm getting past that point and now I'm gonna especially now that I've begun writing something new 
kind of, kind of, not, not new, but new, um, that some of you may know if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter or any of the things, you know what I'm talking about. But, uh, now that I'm writing again, I think it's a little, like, I can kind of just escape into the writing and have my unsocialized time. And then when I'm done writing, I can go on Instagram and talk to people. So, yeah. So yeah, if you are an author who has published a book and feel the need to recover after, please let me know in the comments. I'm curious if I'm not alone or if I'm literally the only one. <laughs> and if you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe and hit like if you liked. I make new videos every Tuesday, and I will see you all next time. Thank you.